hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you have just come across me for the first time today's video topic is the basics of blockchain innovations on the horizon blockchain is a digital ledger technology that is used to record and store transactions and other data across a network of computers securely. It operates on a decentralized network where data is stored across multiple computers, eliminating the need for a central authority. Each block in the chain contains a set of transactions and a unique code, hash, that links it to the previous block. The technology was first introduced as a part of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin and has since then gained widespread attention and adoption across various industries. One of the defining features of blockchain technology is its immutability. Data that is recorded cannot be altered or deleted on a blockchain. This makes it a highly secure technology that is free from tampering or manipulation. It also enables transparency as all parties on the network have access to the same data, making it easy to track transactions and verify the accuracy of information. Here are some of the most prominent applications of blockchain. Cryptocurrencies. Blockchain is the underlying technology behind popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. It allows for significant and secure transactions without the need for banks to act as intermediaries. Blockchain can be used to track the movement of goods along a supply chain. This helps to increase transparency, improve efficiency, and reduce fraud. Healthcare. Blockchain can be used to securely store and shape patients' medical records, improve supply chain management of pharmaceuticals, and enhance clinical trial transparency and data sharing. Blockchain is used to create a decentralized verification system that can be used to protect against identity fraud and theft. Voting systems. Blockchain can be used to create secure and transparent voting systems, allowing for more accurate and trustworthy election results. Real estate. Blockchain can be used to track property ownership and transfer of titles, making real estate transactions faster and more transparent and more secure. Insurance. Blockchain can be used to improve the efficiency of insurance claims, processing and reduce fraud by providing a transparent and immutable record of transactions. Digital advertising. Blockchain can be used to create a transparent and fraud-resistant digital advertising ecosystem, allowing for more accurate tracking of ad impressions and clicks. Energy management. It can be used to track the generation, distribution, and consumption of energy, enabling more efficient and sustainable energy management. Intellectual property management. Blockchain can be used to securely store and transfer intellectual property rights, reducing the risk of infringement and in simplifying the process of licensing and monetizing creative works. Transactions are validated and recorded on the network by a consensus mechanism, such as proof of work or proof of stake. Once a block is added to the chain, it cannot be altered without also altering all subsequent blocks, making the system highly secure and resistant to fraud. Blockchains are maintained by a network of nodes, which are connected computers that have a copy of the ledger. 
Each block in the chain contains a unique set of transactions and a reference to the previous block. New transactions that are added to the blockchain are immediately verified by multiple nodes. And once a consensus is reached, it is added to the next block in the chain. This consensus mechanism ensures that the data recorded on the blockchain is accurate and trustworthy. The decentralized nature of blockchain technology has opened numerous opportunities for innovation in various industries. For example, in the financial industry, blockchain technology is being used to streamline and improve the efficiency of financial transactions. In the supply chain management sector, blockchain is being used to track the origin of products and ensure the authenticity of goods. The use of blockchain technology is also growing around digital identity management. With blockchain, individuals can securely store their personal information and control who has access to it. This has the ability to transfer the way in which organizations and governments store and manage personal information. Types of blockchain. Public blockchains. These are decentralized networks in which anyone can act as a node and validate transactions. In a public blockchain, all transactions are recorded on the ledger and once added to the blockchain, they cannot be altered or delivered. The consensus mechanism used to validate transactions are created and, and create new blocks in the chain is typically based on cryptographic proof such as proof of work and proof of or proof of stake. One of the most well-known examples of a public blockchain is Bitcoin, which was created in 2009 as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Anyone can participate in the Bitcoin network by running a full node, which validates transactions and adds new blocks to the chain. The Bitcoin blockchain has a fixed supply of 21 million coins, which was created through a process called mining, where nodes compete to solve complex mathematical problems and earn new Bitcoins as a reward. Another example of a public blockchain is Ethereum, which was launched in 2015 and is designed to be a platform for building decentralized applications. In addition to supporting cryptocurrencies like Ether, the Ethereum blockchain allows developers to create and ex execute smart contracts, which are self-executing agreements that can automate a variety of business processes. Ethereum uses a consensus mechanism called POW, which is in the process of transitioning to a more energy efficient POS system. Public blockchains offer a high level of transparency and security, as every participant in the network can see and validate all transactions on the ledger. However, they also face challenges such as scalability, as the current design of blockchain technology limits the number of transactions that can be processed per second and energy consumption, as the mining process requires significant computational resources. Additionally, public blockchains are subject to regulatory and legal challenges as they operate outside traditional financial systems and may be used for illicit activities such as money laundry and terrorism financing. Private blockchain. These are also known as permission blockchains and are like public blockchains in that they use a distributed ledger to record transactions. However, private blockchains differ in that access to the network is restricted to a group of known participants who have been granted permission to join. This makes private blockchains more centralized 
than public blockchains, as the participants are typically known entities such as companies, government agencies, or consortiums. One advantage of private blockchains is that they offer greater control over the network as the participants can set the rules for how transactions are validated and recorded. This can make private blockchains more efficient and cost-effective than public blockchains as they can be designed to meet the specific needs of these participants. For example, a private blockchain could be used by a group of banks to process cross-border payments more quickly and securely than traditional banking systems. Another, another advantage of private blockchains is that they can offer greater privacy and confidentiality than public blockchains as the participants can restrict access to sensitive information. This can make private blockchains more suitable for applications such as supply chain management or healthcare, where privacy and security are paramount. However, there are also some challenges associated with private blockchains. One challenge is that they may not be as secure as public blockchains, as they are more centralized and therefore more vulnerable to attacks from malicious actors. Additionally, private blockchains may face regulatory and legal challenges as they are not as transparent as public blockchains and may be subject to data protection laws and other regulations. Some examples of private blockchains include Hyperledger Fabric, which is a permission blockchain platform developed by the Linus Foundation and used by companies such as IBM and Walmart for supply chain management, and Coda, which is a permission blockchain platform developed by R3 and used by financial institutions for applications such as trade finance and insurance. Consortium blockchain. A consortium blockchain is a type of distributed ledger technology where multiple organizations or entities collaborate to create a shared blockchain network. Unlike public blockchains, where anyone can participate and assess data, consortium blockchains are permissioned networks that limit access to authorized participants. In a consortium blockchain, a group of organizations or entities come together to form a network and jointly maintain and validate the blockchain. Participants may include companies, government agencies, financial institutions, and other entities that have a stake in the network. Each participant in the network has a copy of the ledger and transactions are validated by a consensus mechanism agreed upon by the members. The main advantages of consortium blockchains are enhanced, enhanced privacy and security. With a permission network, only authorized participants can access and participate in the network. It becomes much easier to maintain the security and privacy of the data on the network. Increased efficiency and scalability. Consortium blockchains are generally faster and more scalable than public blockchains because they have a limited number of participants who are working together to maintain the network. Better governance and control. Since the participants are known and trusted entities, they can work together to establish rules and regulations for the network, allowing for better governance and control. Lower costs. Consortium blockchains can be less expensive to operate than public blockchains because they do not require the same level of computational power to maintain the network. So examples of consortium blockchains include R3s, Coda, Hyperledger Fabric, and 
or Rome by J.P. Morgan Chase. By providing a decentralized and secure platform for data storage and transactions, blockchain technology has the potential to revolutionize a variety of industries. Its ability to facilitate transparency and accountability in various applications has led to innovations such as smart contracts, decentralized finance, and non-fungible tokens. However, because technology is still in its infancy, its potential for disruption is enormous, and its adoption is likely to grow in the coming years as more companies explore its capabilities. Please click the like, share, and subscribe button Comment and press the bell icon for more new videos. Thanks for watching.